Digimon, Digimon monsters, Digimon bang, 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 monsters, Digimon. All right, guys, here's another announcement for UFC 300. Holly Holm, she was inducted in the Boxing Hall of Fame in 2022 in the history of the women's bantamweight division. She is tied for fourth most wins, six most significant strikes landed, and has the fourth best takedown defense at 78%. Holly Holm is one of the baddest women to ever compete in combat sports, ever. She's fought all the nastiest women in the world in boxing and in MMA, except for one. Holly will be taking on the only person in U.S. history to win back-to-back -back Olympic gold medals in judo. The UFC has officially signed Kayla Harrison. Kayla's 16-1 with 12 finishes. Her takedowns, her ground and pound are nasty, and this will be the first time she will be competing at Bantamweight. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That fight is also at UFC 300. See you soon. All right, guys, here's... Really looking forward to this one, guys. <laughs> what an addition to UFC 300. <laughs> it's a fucking... What a world we're in. How amazing is this? I mean, come on. Don't spoil us, Dana. <laughs> oh, lovely. What an amazing fight to add to UFC 300. Oh, God. I bet this will be on the prelims as well. Don't tell me it's on the main card. Oh, God. Only we could be so lucky. What a great early prelim opener for UFC 300. It's an amazing early prelim opener because you know what? Sometimes you don't want to watch an entire card and you want to join late. Sometimes it's better that way. What an announcement. I'm so glad this is taking a spot. I'm so glad about this. This is taking a spot on UFC 300. 40-year-old Holly Holm. Everyone gets better in their 40s. Right, Dana? Oh, I can't wait for Kayla Harrison to fucking miss weight. Can't fucking wait for that. Can't wait for her to come in at 140. She ain't making 135. We know this. But it's all good. She will make 135. It's all good. It's absolutely fine. Um, Looking forward to this fight. At UFC 300. What a prelim bout. What a prelim bout this is. What an absolutely amazing preliminary bout for UFC 300. I'm so glad this is on the early prelims. Right on that first fight of the card position. It's perfect for it. And I'm so glad it's been confirmed by Dana White. I'm so happy about this. This is perfect for UFC 300. Absolutely perfect because at the end of the day, sometimes you need a shit break in the middle of a card. You know what I mean? Some people eat before the card sometimes. And sometimes you don't know whether or not that shit's going to come out three hours later. And then you've got another half of a card to go. You don't want to miss anything. So this is perfect for UFC 300. And I'm so glad it's been announced. <laughs> because this, this is the announcement we were looking for. I love Still waiting for those two extra title fights, Dana, that you said would be announced when you announced Yan Zhao Nan versus Zhang Wei Li. When you announced Zhang Wei Li versus Yan Zhao Nan, you said in that video on the day that you announced it that the day afterwards you were going to announce the main event. 
Still waiting. It's only been a couple of weeks, Dana. It's only been a couple of weeks. It's all good, though, Dana. Perfect for UFC 300. Absolutely perfect for UFC 300. This is what we need to see. But in seriousness, I'm glad I've lost my voice. But in seriousness, let's just uh, let's just get serious for a second. I'm actually all right with this, you know. Kayla Harrison joins the UFC. If she can make bantamweight consistently, we kind of need something at bantamweight right now because the champion. <laughs> Wait until you get this. Wait until you hear this one. The champion. <laughs> It's Raquel Pennington. <laughs> it's Raquel Pennington. She's the fucking champ. She's the champ of bantamweight. Oh my god. She's the champion of the bantamweight division. Raquel Pennington. <laughs> champ. Oh, great. So it's actually a good thing that Kayla Harrison's been signed uh, to the UFC. Um, the bantamweight division does need her right now. So glad that this is on UFC 300. In my honest opinion, if this fight was announced, Apex, <laughs> go main event, I wouldn't be too angry at it. If it was announced for any other pay-per-view, any one of them, name another number. You got three digits to work with. Name any other number. And I would have been a okay with it. Not on UFC 300, but it's all good. We need Kayla Harrison. <laughs> and uh, Holly Holm on that card. Because nothing screams UFC 300 like 40-year-old Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison. I've destroyed my voice. I've destroyed my voice doing that scream at the start of this. I shouldn't have done it with a sore throat. Either way. We need Kayla Harrison right now, to be fair. Um, I think everyone, or Dana White and every UFC employee, watched Mayra Bueno Silva versus Raquel Pennington and thought, fucking sign someone. You know what I mean? We need to sign someone. Who can beat them. And we need it now. And they've signed Kayla Harrison. And uh, she's fighting Holly Holm. I actually like this signing. Um, Not good for business in my opinion. Because I'm assuming they had to pay her quite a bit of money. But you know Bellator's no longer. Um, Obviously she was at PFL. Now she's here. Perfect time to sign her off a loss to that one Brazilian dude. uh, The Brazilian fucking hell. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, Perfect time to sign her. But, uh, you know, who doesn't want Kayla Harrison coming off a loss to that woman? But she's already beat her twice, so it's good. It's all right. Bring Kayla Harrison in. Maybe she talk, she'll talk enough trash to uh, build some hype around women's bantamweight. I actually don't mind this for the UFC. We need some life at women's bantamweight. <clears throat> We've got Amanda Nunes doing the Monaco emoji, uh, saying that she's like paying attention to this signing of Kayla Harrison. So maybe Nunes will come back. Uh, To be fair, we needed something different at Bantamweight because there's nothing right now. There's absolutely nothing. We just watched Mayra Bueno Silva off of a roid suspension versus Raquel Pennington for a world championship. And that was a really fun fight for 25 minutes. It blew the fucking roof off the place in Canada, it did. It blew the fucking roof off the place. All good though. I think Kayla Harrison's gonna win. <clears throat> See if I mean very funny she would sign now USADA's gone. Very funny. I think that's extremely funny. I think that's hilarious. Uh so that's funny. Um so she joins in and she fights Holly Holm. UFC three hundred. Another fight down. Just hogging a spot. If I see this on the main card. If I see this on the main card. 
If I if I open Tapology right now, I just just give me a second here, guys, because I just need to I just need to check some stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, just give me a second, guys. Okay, it's hogging a spot. Can't quite get Tapology open, but uh, I swear to fucking God, if I see this on the main fucking card. Just give me a second, please. Just, just one second. Just one fucking second, please. Ah! 